The Fox 35 Storm Team Thunder Truck parked along Flagler Beach right now, and you can see the surf right there looking really rough. A coastal flood warning in effect there all weekend long. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi joins us live. Dave, we see it's raining pretty hard. There are any signs of flooding yet? Oh yeah, we're seeing quite a bit of flooding, but we're also seeing tons of rain and wind, and it's been like this all day. Take a look at the conditions out here right now. You can see those heavy winds forcing these big waves coming along shore. We've been seeing people out here, even one guy out here on the pier trying to fish today, but most people trying to stay dry, although not everybody did. The winds and rains are pounding the Flagler beachfront. Some of the water pooled up, spilling into Wham Burger. The cooks trading in their spatulas for mops and vacuums. Jessica Hare summing up the nor'easter-like conditions out by Flagler Beach. It is very cold. It's like the wet goes right through you, right to your bones. Don Hoffman flew in from Pennsylvania for a beach trip with the girls. It is not what I expected. I was looking for some sunshine. Unfortunately, things haven't started as planned. It's kind of crazy. It, you know, when I got here, I thought we're going to have smooth blue water, and it looks just like the water at Ocean City, Maryland. Normally, Flagler Pier would be packed with people, some of them out here even fishing. But of course, these winds and waves deterring most of that, but not everybody deterred by these rains. It's better than staying at home. This man is the lone fisherman, brave enough to fish out by the pier. He comes every weekend and wasn't about to break tradition. I catch some bait, then use, then use that bait to catch some fish, then use that fish to catch a shark. Now, Flagler County can expect more of this throughout the weekend, and the Emergency Operations Center is asking people to be aware of flood areas and if their area could have flood issues, to be prepared and also potentially be prepared for some power outages due to the winds. Now, coming up, we're going to hop into the Fox 35 Storm Team Thunder Truck to get a better look at these rains, winds, and the roads throughout the rest of this storm. That's the latest at Flagler Beach. Dave Puglisi, Fox 35. Five news.